Hello everyone, Devani here and welcome back to my channel. We are back with some more FIFA 22 Aston Villa career mode here. Now this is episode 22. We're coming off the back of the last episode where we had a massive win against Manchester City. We broke our places into the EFL Cup final against Manchester City. We had three straight losses to City in this season just alone. But we finally got a massive win over them. If you want to see how we did in the last episode, link will be down in the description as well as the end of the video so you guys can check that out. But we also had a crucial win against Arsenal and that closed the gap in the league to only two points now we are three points above men out uh, below manchester united who are in fourth as we look to progress for some european football next season we also have spurs breathing down our necks and we have to take on spurs in this episode as well so hopefully we can stretch our league against spurs and start climbing to that top four i'm looking forward to it if you're just not checking out this channel please subscribe down below smash that like button and let's get this episode going all right so taking a look at the calendar here we have spurs coming up in the premier league then it's a couple of days rest before we take on stoke city west ham Newcastle. I'm not even sure. I mean, we should be going on a run here, hopefully now, in these easy games. I might see some of these games. Um, honestly, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Unless we have the Europa League games coming up, which I think we should anyway. Um, coming into February, I think we should. We should. But we'll see. Dominic Van der Beek transfer offer from PSG. He is absolutely killing it. We bought him for cheap, and now look at how much they they're paying for him. Look at how much they're paying for him. Fifty-five point nine million. <laughs> <laughs> Who could make a lot of money back from Donny van der Beek? Uh, but look, I'm going to go ahead and reject that. He's one of my crucial players. We, we bought him. We're not letting him go. Absolutely done of a player. We're not selling him. We have Spurs coming up. Definitely playing like another line seventh, right below us. And we have to try and extend that one. I think the last time we faced them, we lost. I, I do believe so. Um, but this time we are playing at Villa Park. So we should be at least having a home crowd with us. Um, I'm going to start in a combat for this game, actually. Kansai, I'm going to give Kansai a rest for Shores and um, Cash will play. Spinners will I would like to rest, but I don't think I can. Watkins, Buendia, Ings. We'll give Ings another goal. Ings has been really frustrating for us this season. He's not really picking up as much goals as I would like, but hopefully he can do that against Spurs. That's his person to play in a 4 3 3. Kane, Song, Savio, and Dombele, Wings, and Los Celso. Top Soba, who's a good center back, Sanchez, Regalon, Emerson, and Luis Inigo. What a team by Spurs. I'm looking forward to this game. We should be coming in with some confidence after beating Manchester City. And we are live from Villa Park to take on Tottenham Hotspur. And we should be beating these guys. I mean, we should at least try and get a revenge against them. Because I think they... They beat us away at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So we now have to come here and have a massive win over them. Because if we win this game, we'll stretch our league over them by, I think, three more. Well, it's probably like six points, I think. So that's probably that's very safe. Very, very safe for us as we try and close that gap on that top four there. But look, we still have, and it, we still have the Europa League to try and get into the Champions League. But we're going to try this here and see how we do in this match. And the first half is underway. Now it's with Harry Kane. Song. Oh, come on, referee. How is that a foul? How is that a penalty against us? That's a clear tackle. Oh, they're not even showing the replay. They're not even showing the replay. That's a clear tackle, man. Oh, come on. Martinez. Yes! Get in there. What a save. What a save from Martinez. My goalkeeper. Keep that in. Woo! Good interception there. One out a minute to this first half. Come on, Villa. Let's go, Buendia. There it is. Danny Ings. Danny Ings off the post. Oh my goodness, off the post from Danny Ings. It's still nil nil in this game. How is it still nil nil? Danny Ings, like I said, he's not really firing on all cylinders uh, this season. Uh, in from Danny Ings will score that, man. And in from Danny Ings puts that away. He puts Aston Villa up 1 0, but so far it's nil nil in this game. And um, this game could be anybody's game. Spurs had a penalty there, Mez and Watkins. I mean, Ings should be putting that away, but so far it's nil nil in the second half. It's underway. Now it's Savio. We're tackling there from Lequan. Finds Spina Zola. He needs to play that quickly and leave it. There we go. Adams. Lovely true pass. Watkins. Good control. It's Watkins. Get in there. 
Oliver Watkins, there we go, the substitution has paid up here, we put Watkins up front, give Ings a rest, and Watkins has put Aston Villa up 1-0, they should be up in this game, rightly deserved, lovely two pass, ball of the top from Tyler Adams, what is Sanchez doing there, controls it from Watkins, and he slots that pass, Hugo Lloris, he knew exactly where you wanted to put that, good control, and he just bent that round, the goalkeeper into the back of the net. Lovely strike there from Oliver Watkins. And Aston Villa take a 1-0 lead over Tottenham Hotspur. Bailey. Ah, oh, terrible pass from Bailey. Two added minutes to this game. Can Villa hang on here? They're so close. Lovely switcher play out wide. It's with Gale. Kane. All the way. Referee. Referee. The game is over, mate. Regulon. Oh, Lequa. Oh, my goodness. That goes the full time whistle. Get in there. 2 1. Well, 1 0 victory for Aston Villa over Tottenham Hotspur. They get their revenge when it happened in the, in the previous leg against Spurs at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And today we are victorious. We get the three points, exactly what we need. And that should hopefully now give us some breathing room between us and Tottenham. Lovely play here from Ollie Watkins. Two shots and a goal for him. Ings wasn't really firing. We had to make a tactical switch to put that to put um Ollie Watkins up there. And meh. it's a penalty save and a goal basically the game. But we created a few chances, but we should at least I think we deserve to win this game. I mean, Arsenal beat Chelsea two one and Manchester United tied with Manchester City. Oh my goodness, Arsenal won. We're still not into the top four yet. I mean, we're just a point now um, below Manchester United and two points below Arsenal still. So, not bad. Clean sheets, A for Emiliano Martinez. He's up there with the most clean sheets. One should be playing as well. Um, West Ham are a good team. I am going to play this West Ham game. Um, they're playing a 4-2-3-1. Antonio, Yamalenko, Elzaghi. Vlasic, Rai, Sucha. That's a good team. I'm not even going to sim that because we might, we might lose if we sim it. So we'll play the game against West Ham here. Hopefully we can get the win. Much need a win as well. And we are live from Villa Park to take on West Ham in the Premier League. I think we also probably lost our first leg to West Ham. Um... In the first half of the season, but this is the second half of the season. We are playing at home. We're playing in a little bit of a decent form, beating Arsenal, beating Spurs, and Stoke City. So hopefully we can add to that win here against West Ham. It's gonna be difficult, but I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully Ings can get a couple of goals here under his belt. And the first half is underway. Good tackle in there from Danny Van der Beek. Emiliano Wendy, a lovely true pass. To an injured Danny Ings. It's Danny Ings getting there. Danny Ings finally. Looks like he's back at his best. He's also flexing his muscles. A lovely true pass from Emiliano Buendia. The control from Danny Ings. And of course, he's going to finish that injury. What injury? He has the legs. Lovely dink over the, power, over the ball there. Lovely true pass from Emiliano Buendia. Controls it. And of course, it's a composed finish there from our striker, Danny Ings. 14 goals for him this season. And it's now 1-0 for Villa. We're tackling there from Consa. Matty Cash finds Leon Bailey. Bailey into the feet of Danny Ings. Emiliano Buendia is making a dashing forward run. Lovely true pass. It's Emiliano Buendia. Good control. What a finish by Buendia. What a finish. And he says it's KO. Lovely play here from Emiliano Buendia. He played that true pass for uh, uh, Danny Ings. I think Danny Ings just repaid him with a ball over the top as well. Lovely ding pass. He's on his back. You're not catching him. Good control. Good strength. From Emiliano Buendia and that composed to finish there as well. To put that in the back of the net right on the stroke of half time To give Aston Villa a 2-0 lead. Which is exactly what they deserve here. Two other minutes to this first half. And Villa should at least try and see this 2-0 lead into the break here if they can. Now it's with Mikel Antonio. Vlasic. Oh, Matty Cash. Gotta be better there, Cash. Referee. Yeah, that's, that goes to halftime whistle. That lovely play here from Villa. 2-0 up at the break. And hopefully, they can go into the second half with some confidence and see out this game. Danny Ings has been a handful for defenders. A goal and an assist for him so far. Brilliant performance. Him and Emiliano Buendia looks to have rekindled some kind of spirit here. Another outside with Leicester City. Liverpool outside with Leeds United. City are also tied with Fulham. I tell you what, if we win, this could be a massive result here. As we look to progress for that time for spot and the second half is underway. 
tackle in there from Matty Cash. Now it's Jacob Ramsey, the youngster. Lovely true pass to Watkins. This could be the finisher here for Villa. Watkins on the run. It's Watkins getting there. 3-0. 3-0 victory here. Looks like for Aston Villa. Well, it's not over yet, but it's 3-0 lead for them. And they have been spectacular today against West Ham. Who looks like this then no chance. If this is a boxing match, it will be ended ages ago. Lovely true pass here. I mean, that's 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 a poor goalkeeper right there. That's poor goalkeeping. It, it wasn't even hit with any sort of accuracy straight at him. And somehow he left that in the back of the net. Get in there. We'll take it. 3-0 so far for Villa. El Ghazi. Good interception there from Le Croix. Yes, there goes the full-time whistle. 3-0 victory for Aston Villa. Over West Ham, a lovely play here. They're in such hard form at the moment. Oh, after losing, I think, four straight games, we finally got some consistency. Now, we won four straight games, I think, as well. We have Spurs, Arsenal, um, Stoke City, and then we just beat West Ham. Good play from Watkins as well. Danny Ings, Emiliano Buendia to get us the goals that we needed to secure all three points. In, in, even if we take out the goals, I think we played some spe spectacular football here. Of course... Of course, that you want 3 2. My goodness, they're unstoppable. But I think we should be four for now because United just drew with Leicester City. So I think we should be four. But we have Wolves coming up in the final, the final of the EFL Cup. We are the defending champions of that competition. We're going to try and secure our place here against Wolves. Imagine doing back to back, back to back. EFL Cup Finals, man. That is absolutely tremendous. Back-to-back -back wins will be nice as well. And we have Wolves now. I cannot wait for this match. I just saw something like the draws came out here. So we'll take a look at that quickly before we play our our final against Wolverhampton. So looking forward to that. But there goes the draw. We will be taking on Bayern Leverkusen in the Europa League knockout stages. Get in there, bro. It's going to be a, a very difficult match here. Barcelona playing Sevilla. Lazio and Kent, um, Arsenal have, a, of course, Arsenal going to draw the weaker team. We are playing Leverkusen. What a, we finished top of our group. We're going to have to take on Leverkusen. Unbelievable. Elche is in there. Um, Milan against Young Boys. I think we have the toughest draw. We, I mean, Barcelona and Sevilla, yes. But Leverkusen and Aston Villa, that's so hard. That's difficult as well. My goodness. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a massive game. Um, I won't make any changes to our team. This is the cup final. I'm hoping Inks can hopefully produce in this game. It's about time he get on the score sheet. But that's the Wolves team. They're playing a 5-2-3. Martino and Gibbs holding Silva, Neto, and Traore up there. He's going to have a lot of pace. Totti, Lascelles, Mosquera, Johnny, and Simedo. I mean, that's not a bad team. But we are the defending champions. And we have to maintain our status here. Let's get this one going. <laughs> Our boys are looking fresh and ready for this final here against Wolverhampton. It's the, the FA Cup or the EFL Cup, Carabao Cup final here at Wembley Stadium. We've been here before last season. We did it against the best team in Man City. We also beat Man City in the semi-finals to make it to the final. So we are ready for this. I think we are very much favorites now, especially being a defending champion. So we have to prove it. We have to prove our points. Here. Look at this. It's a 5-4-2 leg out tie against Manchester City. But was that an easy 5-2 win against Sheffield United, so they, they might be coming into this a little bit, a little bit weaker, but look, we're confident. We we'll just be mentioned the city. Let's go and get this one going. The first half is underway. Silva, lovely true pass. And referee says it's a penalty here for Wolverhamptons. What in the world is happening here? He already scuffed the finish, he already missed the finish, and referee has called it back for a penalty. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! You've got to be kidding. This game wants to cheat here. Who's gonna take it? Silva, come on, Martinez. Martinez, oh, here's the post, get in there, get it out, oh my goodness, we're about to make a mess, oh, good miss, good miss there from Trioil, my goodness, Wolf could have gone one nil up here and they've made a mess of it, come on Villa, you gotta wake up here now, come on boys, now it's Donny van der Beek, Danny Ings goes out wide to Leon Bailey, still with Bailey in the box, Bailey has it, cuts it back, Danny Ings, get in there, 
As soon as they missed the penalty kick, Aston Villa have gone ahead and taken the lead in this game. Fantastic football here from Aston Villa. That's what happens when you miss your chance. You get punished. Leon Billy does all the work, cuts it back. Blocked there from Emiliano Buendia. Then it falls to Danny Ings. And it's an easy tapping this time for the striker. We did mention him at the start of the game. He said he has to have a big game. And he has produced the first goal of this match here to put Aston Villa up 1-0 in the Carabao Cup final. Fine, Emiliano Buendia, but it's dealt with. Oh, referee, that got to be a foul. That has to be a foul. He's all over Leon Bailey there. All over Leon Bailey. There goes the first half whistle here. Aston Villa taking a 1-0 lead into the break. Very fantastic stuff here from them so far. Very unfortunate to not be going down 1-1, at least 1-0 down. Missed penalty here from Wolves. They went ahead and capitalized on their mistake. And they are 1-0 up here going into the second half. Can they hold on to what will be a massive victory for the first title of the season? The second half is underway. Oh, what is he giving? He's giving a free kick right on the edge of the 18-yard box. It's a free kick for Wolverhampton. Moutinho to take. It's a lovely thing. What a save by Martinez. Oh, my goodness. That could have been 1-1. One -one. Brilliant save by Martinez to keep Villa in it. They got to get a next score. Otherwise, this game could turn around on them here. Now, so Tyler Adams goes out wide to Oliver Watkins. Do add a minute to this game. So, lovely cross back pose. Headed away by Wolves. Aston Villa now pushing the attack in the opening last minutes. The few last minutes of this game. One added minute. Come on, boys. One more minute of the two minutes. I don't know. Good interception there from Donny van der Beek. And there goes the full-time whistle. Get in there, boys. Aston Villa are your defending champions here. They're defending champions of the Carabao Cup. The EFL Cup falls back to Villa Park. They have hanged on here for a massive 1-0 victory over Wolverhamptons. What a performance here from Aston Villa. They couldn't believe it. Wolves cannot believe it. But Aston Villa has done it. Get in there. Oh, these boys have to show character. Go 1-0 up earlier into the game like that. Hang on for the rest of the 90 minutes. That shows some character. Get in there, boys. They deserve this one. We have another trophy on our belt. <laughs> we haven't gotten the big ones yet. We haven't gotten the big ones yet. But look, this is a massive one as well. Two back-to-back -back EFL Cups. I'll take it. I'll take it. We have the Europa League now to focus on as well. And hopefully we can uh, mount some, some charges in the Premier League. We're not going to win the title, obviously. But we're going to try. We're going to give it a go. A huge walloping. Who to lift this? Emiliano Martinez to lift the trophy for Aston Villa. Oh, this team finally. The team that we built. I mean, no Ginter, our captain. But look, that's fine. That's fine. Get in there, boys. Martinez lifts the trophy here. Ginter is going to miss out because he's injured. But Kansa has been brilliant to come in and replace him in the meantime. Absolute dawn of a center back as well. Kansa there. But lovely there. Let's, let's take a look at the celebrations a little bit more. You know, drink it all in. Drink a lot. Look at the fans. Look at that guy. He's literally turned around. Yes. Get in there. Get in there, boys. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. All right. We can move on. <laughs> you don't want to celebrate too much. You know, it's just a just a cup match. <laughs> but, like, it's brilliant to have a cup final. Look at that. Winners of the FA Cup. Look at this. I mean, the, the semifinals was very... For me, the semifinals was the final. Against Manchester City, two legs. That was very difficult. But we get that done. We got that done, and we have Burnley coming up. We got some money as well for our cup competition winning. So we got Burnley coming up in the round five of the Emirates FA Cup. Youth monthly report. Should we sim this game against Burnley now? Uh, let's see here. So we play the West Ham and the and the Wolves, but Burnley, Watford. Uh, we could do Burnley in the first leg of the. Of the EFL Cup. I think that's what we do. We'll do Burnley and then the first leg of the EFL Cup. I mean, of the um, Europa League Cup. What am I saying? What am I saying? Um, we still have a little bit more ways to go. I'll make a few changes to this team. Tyler Adams will get a rest. Nakamba goes in as well. Um, Perez Shores come in as well. Gets in there, son. Venezuela Watkins. Emiliano Buendia will make way for Jacob Ramsey. We'll play Traore. And then we'll give Danny Ings a rest. This is a cup match. We'll play Watkins up there. And we'll give Steer a goal. Why not? He hasn't really been playing. And we'll go with this team. We're playing at home. And hopefully that's enough for us to get a win against Burnley. We're playing a 4-4-2 in the FA Cup. Round 5.
Wes Wood is hanging up his boots. He will retire at the end of the season. He's going to leave Chris Wood by himself? Wes Wood, come on, man. Son Josh will not be happy about that. But we have Burnley coming up in the, in the FA Cup round five. I think this will be a trip to the quarterfinals after this or semifinals. I'm not even sure, but... It's a massive game as well. We just finished up another cup competition. We won the title. Can we win the FA Cup title as well? We are in tremendous form at the moment after that bar run of games where we lost a couple of games. But look, it is the round of 16. So after this match, it will be the quarterfinals. I hope we don't take on Liverpool. I can see it already. You know how they work. You know how they work, right? They're going to give us the toughest schedule. But let's go and get this one going. It's only round five, round of 16 of the Emirates FA Cup. And the first half is underway. Action there from Pierre Schwartz. Now it's with Traore. Finds that marvelous Nakamba. Lovely play into the feet of Jacob Renzi. Hold your run, Leon Bailey. I know you're fast enough, but hold your run. Lovely cross. Oh, cleared. John McGinn, good control. Finds Nakamba. Leon Bailey wants it. Bailey gets it. It's Bailey. It's blocked. Oh. Olayenka giving away cheaply to John McGinn. Back to Leon Bailey. Oh, it takes a massive deflection and it goes into the back of the net. Leon Bailey has put Aston Villa up here 1-0. What a strike. I mean, some say a little bit of luck there, but sometimes you need that luck there. That luck is needed in the games like this way. It's only one game, you know. You win and you're into the quarterfinals and Leon Bailey has produced the goods. They're giving away cheaply by Olayenka. Good interception by McGinn. Finds Leon Bailey. Goes for the finesse shot and it falls off the defender. Oh my goodness, lovely deflection there. I mean, bad for Burnley, but good for Aston Villa. Off the hand as well, into the back of the net. Get in there, Leon Bailey. 1-0 to Villa. Forced to Goodmanson. Finds good, good interception there. Good interception. There could be the goal. Oh, Watkins is in. It's Oli Watkins. Get in there. 2-0 for Aston Villa. Oli Watkins with a goal. He's on the score sheet again. He's in tremendous from here for Villa. What a striker he's been so far this season. Inks hasn't been firing. And he said, I will take that load off you, son. Lovely true pass there from the youngster, Jacob Ramsey. Controls it and smashes that in the roof of the net. Oliver Watkins put Aston Villa up here 2-0 in this game. Still 2-0 here. Still 2-0. Could have been 3-0 up here if Ramsey had finished that chance. Good interception from Ramsey. Tell you what, the home, t the home tie there, Villa. Really playing some confidence now. Matty Cash, and there goes the first half whistle. Villa are taking a comfortable 2-0 lead into the halftime break. But they do say 2-0 is a dangerous scoreline. One goal back from Burnley, and they're right back into this game. United are beating Liverpool 1-0 at the break. Just here, winning against Coventry. Easy game for them as well at Stanford. But it's going to get the second half going. We'll keep the team out of this for now. And hopefully, we can see out this massive game in the Emirates FA Cup. Round of 5, or round of 5, I should say. <laughs> Fifth round. <laughs> Ola Yenka. Andre Goyasi goes out wide to Westwood. Skips past Matty Cash, the retiring winger. Westwood, oh my goodness, what a goal by Goyasi. Take a bar. They say when Burnley get one back, they're in it. They're back in this game, just like that. Another goal, and it's all tied up here. The home crowd have been stunned. Lovely play here from Burnley. Look at this play from Westwood. He's still be retiring. Got it back, and that's a lovely first time hit there from Guyasi into the back of the net. Brilliant strike. Comes on his left foot. He sees it coming as well. He just hits it one time, sweeps across it. Oh, into the roof of the net. What a lovely strike there. It's now 2 1. Game on in this game. They are going short. It's with Andre. Good tackle in there from Spinazzola. That's what he's there for. Come on. He has acres of space now. Room to run into here. Spinazzola with that 91 sprint speed. Spinazzola is bringing the ball up here. Still with Spinazzola. Ah, oh, made a mess of that one. Oh, Brantley also made a mess of it. Leon Bailey. Oh, Brantley have made a mess of it in the back there. And Villa has punished and forced to Leon Bailey. This time he doesn't need a deflection. He has the accuracy, the fitness shot, the band on that ball. Lovely strike there from Leon Bailey. Look at this. What are they playing out here? He's tackled. Good job there from Jacob Ramsey. Finds Bailey. And he just wraps his foot around that one into the back of the net to put Aston Villa up here 3-1. And hopefully they should see this game out from here now. Oh, come on, boys. It's Braun Hill. Lovely turn from West. I cannot believe Matty Cash is still injured. Oh, my goodness. He's in the back of the net. This game is not over yet. Chris Ward this time with a goal. How is Matty Cash so injured? He better not be gone for the rest of the season because we need Matty Cash. Lovely turn there from Westwood into Guyasi. Lovely two pass into Chris Ward. And off the bar and in. What a strike by the strikers. 3-2. This game on. Villa has to be very careful here now. Westwood. 
all the way back. Tarkovsky, good interception there from the Marvelous Nakamba. Fine strike away out wide. There could be it. Oh, too much on that. Too much on that. And there goes the four-time whistle. Get in there, boys. Get in there. It ends 3-2 for Aston Villa over Burnley. We're into the quarterfinals of the Emirates FA Cup after just winning the EFL Cup. Lovely performance. Sean Dach is unhappy, but his team was in the mud today. The home side have come out victorious. Exactly how it should be. Leon Bailey, four times two goals in this game. He has been spectacular. His outside of foot goal was brilliant as well. But Spinazzola and Lequa, man. What a signing. What a signings we did with Spinazzola and Lequa. Watkins as well. He's getting up there as well in the goals. That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Chelsea won 2 0. Manchester United put Liverpool out 2 1. Ugh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I cannot wait for the draw now for the quarterfinals of the Emirates Africa. We have Watford coming up. I think I'm just going to do a quick sim against Watford and then we can play. Um, he's out for five days, Mighty Cash. Oh, uh, that's not good. He played with a bruised shoulder um, the entire game. Delicate. There we go. Kessler Hayden. He doesn't want to leave Kessler. I've accepted like a bunch of loans for him as well. We'll do a quick sim. Oh, maybe if I rest my players, they're pretty knackered, you know. We'll do a quick sim against... Hold on. Just for this match. There we go. 3-2 victory for Aston Villa. Gets in there. Goal for Ings, Watkins, and Watkins. Two goals for Watkins and a goal for Danny Ings. My strikers have scored to give us a 3-2 victory over Watford. Gets in there, boys. And we have the round of 16 of the Europa League coming up against Leverkusen. I like how we're playing away. Do, do you guys know if the, if the goal advantage still counts for the Europa League? I, I have a feeling it doesn't still count, but I look. What is this? Accept. There we go. Yes, Lord Hayden. Matty Cash, you're back. There you go. You'll be right back into the squad, Matty Cash. But we have Leverkusen coming up. Um, we could save this for the next episode. But we'll go ahead and play this one game here. And then um, we'll end the episode. I don't want to make it way too long. So we'll play this game. Look, look at that team. Diaby, Schick, Wits. They have a good team. Palacios, Andres, Brooks, Arujo. That's a brilliant team. That's a brilliant team. We have to go strong as well. That's our best team we can come up with. Leverkusen against Aston Villa in the Europa League round of 16. Well, knockout stages, I should say. Yeah. Do you guys actually think it's fair that we were playing Bayern Leverkusen already in the round of in the round of 16, right? Is it a round of 16 or is it a knockout stages? I think it's knockout and then round of 16. The Europa League is very long, I think. But I mean, come on, we could we couldn't have gotten any of the weaker teams. We finished top of the group only to take on Bayern Leverkusen, a very good, organized, and strong team here. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a tough match. Diaby is pacey as well. He, he's no joke. Palacios in that midfield, shake up there. Look at him. Look at him with the long hair. Oh, we're gonna have to be on our A game. Even Wits is good in the attacking mid in that yeah, in the attacking midfielder position as well. So we're gonna have to be on our A game if we want to try and get anything from this game. And the first half in the round of 16 of the Europa League is underway. So corner kick that they're gonna go short this time. They do go short it's with Diaby. Musa Diaby finds Wits. We'll play here from Leverkusen. Come on! Come on! How are we down already? In just five minutes, how are we down already, man? So Patrick Schick. I mean, the true pass comes in. Splits our defense open like Spandex or Miami Beach, man. Come on. How did this true pass just split us wide open? Look at his pass. Where are my defenders here? Look at this right there. He's not onside. I mean, he's not offside. Lovely turn. It's a good finish by the striker. We're 1-0 down. We can't afford to be at least. We cannot go back into the first, the second leg 3-0 here. No way. We've got to keep it at least 1-0. Oh, we try and tie this game. Boy, it's 1-0 so far to Leverkusen. Good tackle in there. What a tackle from Spinazzola. Emiliano Buendia. Finds Danny Ings. Good play from Danny Ings. Good hold up play. Lovely play. Let's go. Try. Oh, Bailey. Bailey. It's Leon. Bailey gets in there. 
Leon Belly has produced a goes lovely, lovely bit of play here from Aston Villa. They combine a couple of passes together, split the defenses open. Lovely true pass from Donny van der Beek. Leon Belly just got on his bike and said, I'll see you guys later. Got it back on his favorite left foot. And it's a strike in the back of the net. 1-1 one, one in this game. Get in there, boys. Come on. Come on. Palacios will play here so far from Leverkusen. Good interception from Tyler Adams. He shouldn't know more about them. Oh, what a goal by Patrick Sheik again. Take a bow this time. Lovely strike from the left four. He is unstoppable today. Lovely play here. Look at it. I mean, they got lucky here. It's a good tackling from Adams. Good interception. Then it was stolen again. He just takes the turn. And that's a brilliant goal to put Leverkusen here up here. 2-1 in this game. What a game so far. One added minute to this first half. Tyler Adams. Come on. Oh, that was Kansa. You see, Adams and, and Lequois should be familiar with these opponents. I bought them both from the damn Bundesliga, man. You gotta come here and show that you are a better player than them. That's why you left this damn league. Patrick Schick, two attempts and two goals. Both of them have been brilliant takeaway, by the way. I mean, the way he finishes his strikes. Brilliant, you know. I need a backup striker. He, he's looking like he's he's a guy for me. <laughs> Barcelona winning 1-0 against Sevilla. Arsenal losing to a team called Real Antwerp. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. But we're also losing it anyway. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. The second half, first leg is underway. Jankov. Oh, come on. Good job. Cash. Keep it, boys. Keep it. There we go. Emiliano Buendia now. Go play. Emiliano. Emiliano. Buendia. Get in there. Emiliano Buendia has tied it here for Aston Villa. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, Bayern Leverkusen got to be very careful, you know. If they draw this game and go back to the Villa Park, it won't be an easier match than this. We will be all for it. Lovely play here from Emiliano Buendia. And what a strike into the back of the net. Goalkeepers to no chance. And it's 2-2. Four goals already in this game. Good interception there from Leon Bailey. Foster to Donny van der Beek. Go play. Oh, he's offside. Ramsey. Oh, you couldn't even control that, Ramsey. You can't even control that, man. Come on, Rams. You got to show some strength there. But it ends 1-1 one, one here. I mean, 2-2 two, two at Bayern Leverkusen. I will take a draw. I will take a draw. We'll take this back to Villa Park. We should be ready for them. It's going to be a great game. They're a good team to play against. I love it. I, I would really have an easy game. But I'll probably just sim it. So this is much better. Just much better. I like when we face top competition. Patrick Sheik, though. Patrick Sheik. We do need a backup striker. And he has made a case for himself. He has made a case for himself. I might go and buy him. Arsenal came back and won 2 1. Who are the fools now? Barcelona won 2 0 against Sevilla as well. But yeah, I, lo I like the look of Patrick Sheik. And we have the round of six, the round six coming up in the in the um, Emirates FA Cup, which should be the quarterfinals, I believe. Yep, yeah, the quarterfinals of that competition. We'll play that. We'll be in the episode next. We have the quarterfinals coming up against Fulham. Then it's the second leg. And then my sim Fulham and Newcastle game. And then we might bring the next Europa League game before we face on Liverpool. But go ahead and stop here for now. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.